I was holding the plant with the root ball attached, every piece of soil fell off the root. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for visiting Toya DTV. I hope you are impressed and want to subscribe. For those of you who are here on the regular, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right y'all, so this video is what I would call one of the random videos because I'm discussing something that is educational, probably a question for most women. This is all about plant care and all of that. Just something different. I'm gonna start with a question. Can you kill a plant by repotting it? I did a quick Google search to see the answer to that. And I think the first one that came up said no. That is a lie. You can kill a plant by repotting it because I've done it. I went to Home Depot, found this uh, cute plant. It was in a basic uh, flower pot and I wanted to change the pot that it was in. Well, I had zero experience. So y'all wanna stick around for this if you just want more greenery, want more indoor plants in your home. You don't have to have a green thumb. It's just things that we don't know. So I'm gonna share today. So stay tuned. I'm gonna give you some things that you do not want to do. First, do not take all of the soil off of the roots of the plant. Do not do that. That is number one. Do not do it. Do not do it. That's like a no, 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 no. That's what I did and my plant died. Do not. I don't even know where I got this from, but when I was putting soil in the uh, flower pot, I was pushing it down. I mean, I'm, I'm putting weight on it. I'm like, oh, don't do that. When you are repotting a plant, the things you want to need, the new pot for your flower or whatever you're making, you're going to need a coffee filter. You're going to need potting soil. You can um, also have the optional choices of scissors, gloves, gardening gloves, um, and what they call a trowel. Now, a trowel is just a mini shovel. You see it all the time in the, the gardening areas of the department stores. And water, okay? Water is also optional. I'll explain that in a minute. If you have those things, you are ready to repot your plant. So with the new flower pot, you're gonna want it to be slightly larger. You're gonna need a um, coffee filter because the flower pot that you buy, it needs to have holes in the bottom so that water can drain. The coffee filter is gonna go in the bottom of the new pot so that your soil won't fall out, but water can still escape the pot. You got your potting mix, you got your trowel, which will help you get the um, the plant up out of the pot without having the all of the soil come with it. Gloves, if you're just kind of like one of those people that don't want dirt under your nails, me, I mean, I just did it with my regular hands. Uh, scissors are optional and water is optional. Um, scissors are optional or a knife because you have the option to once you once you get it out of the pot you can actually cut some of the roots down to where they're not going haywire and some aren't longer than the other ones me personally i just let it grow i don't i don't trim it up you need minimal water if your soil is completely dry if you are buying soil from the store if it's indoors that's fine but if you're buying it from let's say Home Depot and you got it from outside and it has actually been raining your soil is probably damp do not add more water to that soil it's gonna drown your plant I've done it 
Okay, so those are the things you're going to need. So if your planting soil is completely dry, you are to add very minimal water to the point where it doesn't even come out the bottom of the pot. So you got your new pot. The first thing that goes in is your coffee filter at the very bottom. Okay, so you, you, you go to your old plant, you take the trowel, you go around the root of the plant. When you pull it up, the root ball should be all that comes out. The root ball is pretty much the roots of the plant attached with a ball of soil. You want to leave all of that just how it is. Next, you want to make sure that you have soil in your new pot. One solid layer is fine to start with. Don't fill it all the way up. Don't fill it halfway up. Just fill it enough, maybe a quarter. Fill it enough so that you know you, you got a, a bottom layer. Then you want to take your plant that you have removed, put it over into the new pot. You want to layer your potting soil around, around this new plant. Layer it, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going until it fills up. You want to make sure all your roots are tucked in to the soil. Now you can give your soil a little, a little press just to make sure it's all even on the top okay don't worry about um if it's packed tight you don't want it packed tight you want air to get to the roots of the plant so that it can grow i was not aware of that either i was thinking the tighter i pack it the more water stays in it and the more it'll flourish well i had no idea what i was doing and it killed my plant once you have completely covered the roots of the plant and you have your your soil at the level you want it to be at and I mean very minimal water to the soil just to give it a little moisture that you if there's for any reason you're not sure whether to water it or or not water it don't water it just don't water it give it a day or two days then you can come back and water it over watering when you are repotting it will definitely drown your plant out and you would never know exactly what happened and it happens kind of quick once you have your soil on there you are good to go I was devastated that my plant died first of all and I was scared to repot the one that I had left because I thought the same thing was going to happen. I called and I called my mom and got some advice and she told me how to do it. The plant that I had, I'm going to post a picture. I'm going to show you how the plant looks now and it's only been, it's only been maybe four weeks since I repotted it and it doesn't you have to know the type of plant that you have because not all plants require the same attention some plants love sunlight some plants are like you can put me in a dark room I'm good um, some plants need watering frequently some plants don't require that the plants that I have particularly do not require a lot of watering I water them maybe once a week sometimes once every two weeks it just depends on the the way the soil feels and look um so i would say like in your hotter months just check your plant more frequently so i'm gonna show you my plant look at my baby y'all look at my baby it's growing up out of the pot now if you can see if you can see the last picture that I posted up, this plant was not this big. Y'all, I've been through some stuff with this plant. You see this? Let me let me show you. You see this? You see that, right? 
I wanted this plant to grow so bad I had put it outside and it's an indoor plant and the bugs started eating eating the leaves up the bugs started eating the leaves and I felt so bad and I, my mom fussed me out that's not an outdoor plant I'm like mom but I wanted to grow look at that it's beautiful this is what saves you you need something like this that has the grooves this one is eight inches and the water let's see is there water in here now it is the water drains in here and not in my plant so this baby is flourishing y'all this baby is flourishing it doesn't require much and mom dukes you got skills skills and she got two green thumbs she don't have one she has two it is the smallest things that make the biggest difference when it comes to plant life i have another tip so my mom said if you only have one and you want the plant to grow get another plant the same size and put them together and they will grow together and i was like ma what why does the plant need another plant to grow if i'm doing everything that i need to do to get it where it need to be and she was explaining to me they grow they just grow faster together and i'm like i don't know about that but whatever i'll try it y'all i bought a, i bought another plant so this is the one i bought it's similar right it's similar even this one is growing since it's been at my house you see that when I did everything that was explained to me on what to do to take care of your plant some of the stuff sounds crazy right well guess what it actually works it actually works so y'all some of it may sound like some of it may sound a little weird but it actually works so i had to make this video for somebody that that i i know i can't be the only one in in those same shoes so i'm like look i can't be that bad with taking care of plants it can't it's just something i don't know that's what i started thinking so i'm like and i mean i go to my mom house she has plants they're running everywhere everywhere like to the point where i honestly feel like they're tangled up and they won't be able to be separated unless somebody sit there and actually take their time and untangle them like hers are sprouting like wildfire like everywhere and i'm like man that's that's some serious green thumbs but this is to encourage somebody who just wants to spice up their home to just have more greenery and you think you can't do it i think you can do it because it's the simple things that we don't know that keep us held back from accomplishing something so simple as getting a different look in the home getting a different vibe in the home a different feel in the home and greenery is one of those things that liven up any room so i just wanted to share my input my thought my story i wanted to repot my plant i called my mom and i'm like mom i'm scared to repot my plant i don't want it to die because the last time i did it it died one of them died and i don't want to lose this plant because you gave me this plant and i want to keep this plant and she told me what to do and i was still scared i still waited two weeks to repot this plant when i did i got home i had the new pot i had the soil i had no tools because i didn't i hadn't done any other research i had no tools all i had was a new pot um 
I had new soil and that was it so I literally took my fingers down in the pot like this and I dug down around the roots and I just kind of scooped it with my hand so that I could get the the um, plant out without tearing the roots and I had layered my, my other pot I had patted it down I hadn't I did not use a coffee filter I knew nothing about that I patted it down and I kind of kept kept my my hand under it so that the soil wouldn't fall out when I was doing it and when I sat the plant down to make sure that everything was good for the bottom layer of soil I went to go pick it back up and I'm like okay so I need to put this in the pot and and layer the soil around the roots while I was holding the plant with the root ball attached every piece of soil fell off the root I was so scared this plant probably needed to be repotted about five years ago the soil was so bad that I was getting layers of white fungus across the top of the plant so when all that soil fell completely off the root ball I wanted to cry because I my mom told me do not take all of the soil from around the root I didn't take it off but it fell off it fell completely off and it made me panic I was like oh my god so the first thing I did was I tried to hurry up and finish so I sat the root the the, the roots now I sat down into the, the, the new pot and I started um, layering it faster and I tried to cover it up with the soil and I'm like oh my gosh so I get it in there and I'm comfortable with it but I'm like is this plant going to survive because even though I didn't remove the soil from the root ball it fell completely off all of the soil fell off at one time it was no way for me to catch it or anything I was so distraught so I just finished it up and then I called my mom I'm like mom all the all the all the soil fell off the roots and she was just like it's okay and I'm like what it's okay and I'm like okay she said don't water it and I'm like okay she told me to wait two days to water that plant because I guess the roots and the roots and the soil being disconnected made the plant vulnerable or something I don't know but it worked it worked y'all look at my baby I gotta show y'all again I gotta show y'all I have to show y'all again it worked it did not die and within a day or two I knew it wasn't gonna within the first day I knew it wasn't gonna die because when I came and looked at it it was actually greener than it was when I replanted it it is greener it, it was greener so I was like it's gonna survive it's gonna it's actually going to survive so y'all I was just so grateful that I was able to keep a plant for a change I was able to keep a plant I listened it worked out like you can do it too you you can definitely do it it is not as hard as it seems you don't have to have you don't have to be all miraculous with your thought process on how to take care of plants it is the simplest things that we just don't think about so this is really uh to encourage somebody and give people that don't know give them the basic knowledge of it y'all your house can be full of plants and you don't have to have a green thumb so this is just a little bit of encouragement i hope you all got something from the video like thumbs up subscribe if you are not and i will catch y'all in the next video